101.1 FM, AM 1160, WCCSradio.com. So I hinted at it. I said something's about to take flight. In this case, it's literal, as we're joined in the studio by Laura McLean and by Heather Reed. Ladies, good morning. Good morning. Hi, Todd. It's good to have you both with us here today. Our conversation is brought to you by Marcus and Mac, voted best personal injury law firm in the best of Indiana County contest. Marcus and Mac a law firm representing injured people, Concordia IRMC VNA, the Hope Takes Flight butterfly release is coming. Laura, tell me. Yeah, so um, this is our 14th annual wow. uh, butterfly release. Um, it'll be on Sunday, August 6th mm-hmm. at uh, 2 p.m. at Mark- Mac Park. Um, it's a great day. It, um, we usually have 150 to 200 people there. Um, they purchase their butterflies in advance, um, in memory or in honor of their loved ones. Mm-hmm. Um, it's a great day. We have music and um, just nice fellowship with with everyone. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah, yeah. And and Heather, I know that uh, from the standpoint of uh, uh, what IRMC Concordia VNA can, does uh, for so many many people, this is uh, not only an important thing to celebrate what they do. Uh, but it's also important for us to understand what they do because it's it's a really vital service. It absolutely is. And obviously, you know, the proceeds from this event are going to come back to community and patient care right here in our community. Um, and I will say, you know, last year was my first year to attend and be a part of Hope Takes Flight. And it was very touching for me. You know, I been to many, many community events um, and it, it's very special. If, if you've never attended the Hope Takes Flight butterfly release. Um, There's something magical, very moving about it, Um, especially if you've lost someone, you know, being able to release that butterfly. It's it's so symbolic. Um, It's just a really special day if if you've never been a part of it. Yeah, yeah. So, Laura, how do people get involved? So, um, we have on our website, um, concordiairmcvna.org, you can go and... um, Purchase your butterfly for $25. Tomorrow is actually the, the deadline for um, guaranteeing a butterfly on that day. Mm-hmm. We will have some available day of um, for $30, um, but we just can't guarantee how many we'll have. Yeah. Um, so you can go online to, um, to you know, save your butterfly. And then um, you can also, you know, stop by our offices if you, if you want to um, pay by check. Mm-hmm. Um, pick up a form. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I have that website. It's uh, concordiairmcvna.org. So for any of you listening that would like to go on and reserve a butterfly, www.concordiairmcvna.org. I know that's a mouthful, but Google Google us. Um, (laughs) It will come up in your search bar and you can go online. You can also call um, Lori Richardson at the VNA office at 724 463-6340, Four six three six three four zero, and her extension is two seventy nine. So, still time if you'd like to reserve in advance a, a butterfly for twenty five dollars. Professor Google knows who you are. <laughs> yeah. yes. uh, Laura, this thing, st- as you said, it, this is the fourteenth time that you've been able to do this, yes. uh, and and it started all those years ago um, uh, to to really, as as I said earlier celebrate um, the the work of VNA, which is uh, just one of those historic agencies here in Indiana County that continues to be very, very strong. Yes. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's, it's fantastic that it's our 14th year. Um, we have, in the last few years, released 600 butterflies. So, um, yeah, it's just an incredible event to, mm-hmm. to see happen. And for most years, we've had pretty good weather. Yeah. Fingers crossed. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we're hoping. We're hoping. We've got time to fix that weather forecast between now and then. Tell folks about VNA and what they do. So uh, VNA has um, a couple different um, areas that we focus on. We have home health, um, where we come into your home to take care of you if you are after surgery, if you um, you know, are just ill and, and um, not able to, to get out to your doctor's appointments. And then we have hospice care mm-hmm. um, where we come in and um, take care of you on your last days of life. Um, we also have bereavement services. So um, we have uh, not only bereavement through our um, chaplains and through our bereavement volunteers, but we also have um, the program Hopeful Hearts, 
which is a grief support program for children, teens, and their families. Mm -hmm. So for Concordia IRMC VNA, um, what's the what's the reach? How far out do you actually so we, reach? So we have been extending our area. So obviously we um, service Indiana County, but we also do all the outlying counties as well, Armstrong, Cambria, Jefferson. Um, you reach a little bit into Westmoreland as well, I would yeah. think. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and and of course your your clientele comes from all of that different area, which which really speaks to the fact that uh, uh, you know people know the reputation of VNA and what you've been doing for so many years. Right, right, yeah, and we have nurses and and aides that are from all of those counties as well, so it, it mm -hmm. helps us reach out to all of those areas. Yeah, yeah, Heather from uh, IRMC Healthcare's uh, standpoint, uh, yeah, you see this this agency that's worked so hard, and and now you partner with with VNA and uh, and it really is it's good fit isn't it it is it's great for that continuum of care once you know you're released from the hospital oftentimes there is that question about once I'm home what what happens next and so being able to partner and, and come up with this great transition from you know inpatient in the hospital side right into uh, providing care in your home um, and, and sometimes, unfortunately, connecting with the, the grief side and the bereavement side um, and, and going into that hospice care, often that occurs right, you know, while you're still in the hospital. So being able mm -hmm. to kind of connect the two, just a great opportunity for the community um, and for, for patients on both sides, just being able to have that community connection for both is, is really a great program. Yeah. Yeah, and and Laura, for folks um, who reach the point where it transitions uh, to hospice care, uh, that's a really shocking, jarring moment for some folks. That for a lot of them, it's I've seen it coming, and I know it was going to come, but now it's here, and you're never prepared. Right, right, yeah. That's a whole another aspect of um, anticipatory grief. So um, you know, our our team helps to you know support the entire family. Um, mm -hmm. You know. The patient physically and then emotionally and spiritually um, as well. Yeah. So we're looking for, uh, and we said celebration, we're looking for a celebration coming up on August the 6th at Mac Park. Uh, what should folks do uh, to come and, and, and to watch? Oh, yeah. So you you are welcome. If, if you haven't purchased the butterfly, you're still welcome to come and join us. Um, bring a lawn chair mm -hmm. and, um, you know, maybe... Uh, an umbrella for shade. <laughs> we do have some some shade from the trees in Mac Park, but um, you might want to bring uh, your own shade as well. Yeah. Um, we have refreshments and uh, music. Uh, we have some some tables of information set out. So in case you're interested in in learning more about uh, VNA and Hopeful Hearts and all the other things that we do, yeah, um, we have that available. As Turns well. into a big family event. Too, it really it? does. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's really amazing to see all 600 butterflies being released. It yeah. is. Yeah. yeah, that moment for you last year, Heather, when you saw that for the first time. It was real. You know, you're you. Everybody's got them, and, and they 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 need to dry their wings. So you first take them out, and there's this moment where where nothing is happening. You know, and for me, it was just a little terrifying. I mean, what's happening? <laughs> but then all of a sudden, I mean, it's just this beautiful all of these butterflies you know, kind of go up into the sky, but some of them, um, you know, come back and they land, they'll land on your finger, or they'll land on the person next to you. Um, it's just, it's a really, it's a really special thing to see. I was, I was very moved last year. I will, will say I was sad that I had not been and participated in one um, in the past, but, um, you know, yeah, I was, I was definitely, I was definitely moved by by the beauty of it. Not many people know that if you pay a little extra, Laura actually trains the butterfly <laughs> in advance. She and, sure will. Yeah, it'll land. It'll land on your shoulder. <laughs> Laura goes and, above and beyond, <laughs> and it, it sings little butterfly songs into your ears while you're doing it. Then, isn't that what happens? Laura? If only. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever it takes, you know. That's right. Uh, but uh, but for folks who want to again uh, take part in this, uh, you said they could stop by the office or go online. Yeah. Either, either ways yep. is good. Wonderful, wonderful. Okay, so boys and girls, it's August 6th. It's at 2 p.m. at Mac Park. $25 butterfly donation. Um, you can uh, bring a lawn chair for seating if you must. Uh, and it's Concordia, IRMC, VNA.org, right? Is that what you said, Heather? Yes. Yep, that okay. is correct. Wonderful. <laughs>
Ladies, thanks so much for coming by. Thanks for having us, Todd. We appreciate it. It is the voice of Indiana County. It's WCCS 101.1 FM, AM 1160 and WCCSradio.com. 22 minutes after 8 o'clock and coming up CBS Sports in just a couple of moments. Jake is in the newsroom. He'll be stopping by. We need to get the health cycle in this morning. Sarah Lee Kessler has the health beat. Lisa Brady this morning has the house call for health.